Hey, what's up everybody? I'm super excited to have you back on today's adventure. We're along the north shore of Minnesota and we're heading back down to that creek where I found all those amazing agate indicators. I was only here the last time for about 30 minutes. We found some really good stuff. And since I left there, I've been really, really anxious to get back. And now that I'm back here, I can almost hear the creek calling my name. I get father. Come on. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh... Crikey. I get uh... That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. the creek so as you saw me carrying I got my backpack I got my tiller I got my sifting scoop and I think that's all the tools I'm gonna need I also have a bucket and in that bucket it's nothing because last time I was here it's a bunch of garbage so I'm gonna be picking that up along the way help keep our beautiful earth clean so let's have some fun all right found my first possible something it's pretty dirty i'm gonna put it in my sifting scoop to clean later but i also found right here a smaller chunk of amygdaloidal basalt if you saw my last cutting video which was my very first cutting video i cut one of these and it's absolutely gorgeous so now i'm gonna be stockpiling this stuff like crazy because it's gorgeous inside so some good news i've i've noticed the water levels are down since last time i was here but Found some garbage and some not drinking and not expired lemonade so we'll throw that but as you can probably put put it together people have been here it's a grouse probably can't see it i was literally just thinking how creepy this creek is and i hear these little footsteps in the background i'm like oh my gosh this is it it's a grouse. <laughs> Keep hearing footsteps. That's what happens when you get creeped out. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so I found a good spot here to kind of spend some time on. Do some tilling in there. I'm going to look under this branch. So it's falling over because my theory is that... Oh my gosh, right there. I told you I saw footsteps as a deer. I am one with nature. They don't even know I'm here. All right. So my theory is, if people come down here, which I know there has been people, they're not going to look under this stuff because it's too annoying. And I'm pretty sure right there is an egg. So I kind of go pop over. Check it out. Let's see if it is. Looks like it's got some translucency. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll have to get that one wet. All right, I got that one cleaned up. I just wanted to show you. You can see some bands right there. Light, but hey, we're on the scoreboard and we're having fun, so that's all that matters, right? All right, I found another one. Nothing crazy big. It's got some quartz in there. Glowing. Uh, I had to grab it before the sediment kind of kicked up and I couldn't get my camera in time but i'm gonna keep moving further down the creek here see if i can find a place to do some sifting for uh some hidden treasures in the creek found a good spot lots of gravel here to go through and then right down there i found a chunk of cal sydney so that one's also glowing so we'll uh do some sifting here for a little bit
Well, been doing this for a little while. Made a pretty good pile. And I've uh, only found two. Well, one. This is just a little guy. But this one, hard to say. I think it might be quartzite kind of thing. It'll be fun to clean up, look at later. But yeah, I'm going to keep moving down the creek. See what else we got down there. I haven't made it too far past this point uh, since the last time I was here. So excited to do some more exploring. We got ourselves another little one right here. Holy moly. <gasps> Look at the bands on that. Oh my gosh. It's got like, the, I think it's called the iris effect or. Oh wow. <laughs> That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. That's all I saw too was like just sitting there like that. Wow. That is awesome. All right, so I came down from way over there underneath that tree, walked up, and when I got up here, I looked down at all these rocks that are just lying here. There's no water except right there. And I was like, I feel like I'm gonna get lucky here. Just found that one with those beautiful bands. I was walking and I see, like, if you can see all these rocks are just black. They got all this black all over it. And I saw this one right there. I was like, that kind of has a potato skin. Um, for further inspection, it has some translucency to it. There's just a little sun hitting it. Just a little bit. But, do you see it? See the bands? That's an agate. <laughs> what a gorgeous agate. <laughs> Look at that indentation. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna go get this cleaned off here. Oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. Oh wow. Oh, this is so awesome. Wow. Let's get into some sunlight here. Oh my. That thing is just, it's totally river burned. You can see the agates right there, excuse me, the banding. Oh my gosh, this is, this is gorgeous. You can see some bands, I think, right there. This is gonna be a fun one. Oh man, you can see that there's gonna be banding right here. Let me, let me find something around here that I can use to clean it off, hold on. Nature scrub brush. <laughs> Holy crap. Mosquitoes. Don't bug me right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is, if we can get that river burn off here, this is gonna be insane. It's all, it's, it's white. Look at the size of that too. Like that's amazing. All right, we'll keep going. I'll stick this one in my pocket. Alrighty, so I've kind of made it to a point where I'm gonna turn around and head back because the mosquitoes wanna have me for dinner like that one right there on my thumb. Yeah, found some other stuff, agates, possible agate jasper. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep moving and we'll show you all this when I'm not being eaten alive by mosquitoes.
Ugh. I'd rather not. Full oh, mosquitoes. Alrighty, so we're back to the point where we started. I didn't find anything else on the way back except for some garbage. So we'll get everything we found cleaned up and we'll show you what we got. Alrighty, so we're back. We got everything cleaned up. Pay no mind to all the chalk markings from my son. Or this, or this, or that, or any of these. But yeah, here is everything that we got from the hunt. Got a lot of really cool pieces. Some of these that I wasn't too sure on when I was out there got them cleaned up as best as I can. Now there are a few that I couldn't quite clean all of it off because they were so burned with that river scum but I do have everything from this hunt and that scouting hunt where we found those great indicators like this one and this one which I'll show you in more detail in a second here. Found some really beautiful chunks of jasper that I'll show you and uh, this really big chunk of jasper as well. But I'm gonna get some of these wet here and we'll show you all of their beauty. Alright so here's some of the jaspers that we found. Some really beautiful details in there. That one is really pretty. This one's pretty cool. Some great yellows in there. Found some more yellow jasper, which is awesome. This piece here is really, really beautiful. Kind of hard to tell, but it's got some really cool details in there really really beautiful so when I went out scouting that first time I found this guy and I got it really cleaned off it's extremely waxy and this reminds me of some stuff I've seen with sun bleached agates but I'm not seeing any bands and I can kind of see that's a little more deep into the stone so I'm wondering if I cut this one if it might have some cool stuff inside. I think uh, stuff like this, it's like, why not? Why not cut it? And then this one too, uh, this one might be a Jasper, but it's very waxy. It's got a little translucency and I'm wondering, maybe it's a chunk of Chalcedony, or I don't know, might be another good one to cut down the road. This is one of the bigger ones that we found on the Scout. Now I don't know if you'll be able to see the bands in here because of the light, um, looks good for me, but <laughs> Um, it's got some pretty cool white and blue banding in it with it's got some red in there and uh, limonite staining and everything so this is a pretty pretty cool piece I don't know what to do with this one that's probably just gonna go on the shelf all right so this is one that we found on the scout it's got those water level bands in there absolutely beautiful just amazing uh, let's see Here's the other water level banding one. It's little, but really beautiful. Really, really cool. And then these three, this one, ended up being a geodagate. It's got some quartz crystals in there, which is really cool. This one was the very first one we found when we came back. It's got some light banding in there. Right there, you can kind of see it. But it's also got all these little details here might be hard to see with the light but it's got some tube agate action going on in there which is really neat and then my favorite of the smaller ones was this band of beauty it's absolutely gorgeous look at that that is just amazing love it all right so if you remember this guy you remember 
how black it was. I'll show you some pictures here. So I soaked this in vinegar, dish soap, and water for 24 hours. Scrubbed it with a green abrasive scrub brush and we got a lot of that grime off. It's still pretty dirty, but as you can see, this was one of the, the pieces that had, or one of the, <laughs> the sides that had bands coming through. So that's pretty cool. Some limonite staining right there. And then on this side, it's also got some bands going on there. And then right here, we got some bands. Hello, Bentley. Hi, buddy. Hi. He's a good boy, huh? Yeah, you're a good dog. But yeah, I was thinking with this one, uh, because it's so beat up and everything, not a whole lot of band showing. Oh my gosh, look at all that dog hair. Don't pet your dog with a wet hand. <laughs> gosh, what a dog. But yeah, I was thinking with this one and just cutting it down the middle between these bands and then leaving this one. And then hopefully inside, you can see the bands kind of running through this way. Hopefully by cutting it, we can expose some good bands inside. So that'd be really fun. So that is everything we found when we went out to that beautiful creek. I was so happy to get back there and so excited to have some good luck there as well. It was, it's always a little harder when those creeks have that river burn on a lot of the rocks, but definitely getting my eyes trained to find some better stuff while I'm out there. So thank you guys so much for taking along. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you can stay tuned to the next video, which is going to be cutting some of those beautiful egg nodules and all those other pieces that got all that eggity goodness hopefully inside. We'll see you next time guys. Bye.